Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a tutorial showing you how to get two different looks from the same set of Rimmel products. While some of these are longtime favorites you've definitely heard me talk about before, I also went to Walmart to find the rest of the essentials for this look. So let's get started. First, I'm starting out with a little bit of a color primer. This is an eyeshadow paint in the shade Chestnut Taupe, and I'm applying that all over the moving part of my lid and just using my finger to blend it out. Next, I'm going in with a Glam Eyes Shadow Quad. This is in Smoky Brun, and I'm taking the lightest highlight shade, and I'm placing that on my inner corner as well as my brow bone. Next, I'm taking the medium gold shade from that same shadow quad and I'm applying that all over the rest of my eyelid as well as beneath my lower lash line. And last for the shadows, I'm going in with a small dome brush and using that to apply the deepest shade to my outer corner. Then I'm going in with a fluffier brush and blending the two out to make sure there are no harsh lines. Next up is lining and I'm using the Thick and Thin Eyeliner to create a subtle but defined line on the upper lash line with a little bit of a flick at the end as well. Next up are the lashes and I'm using Rimmel's Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara and applying one coat to both my top and bottom lashes. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm using Rimmel's Stay Matte in the shade True Ivory and I'm applying that all over for a more full coverage, flawless finish to the rest of my face. Now to conceal and highlight, this is from the Rimmel Match Perfection line, and I'm using that to draw kind of the signature triangle in the under eye area to really conceal dark under eye circles and finish the rest of the base. On to one of my favorite matte bronzers. This is Rimmel's Natural Bronzer, and I'm using that with an angled brush to contour my cheeks, temples, and just underneath my jawbone. And then last for face makeup, in this look I'm moving on to the Match Perfection Blush in Light Medium and I'm just dabbing that on with that same angled brush to the tops of my cheekbones. Last are the lips, this is Rimmel's Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in All Day Seduction. And that completes more of a put together neutrals look. On to the second look. Starting with a clean face, I am going in with a primer. I'm using that same highlighter and concealer all over my eyes and patting that in. Then using the same natural bronzer from the first look that I used on my face, I'm actually going in with a fluffy blending brush and using that to deep it up and define my crease. Next, using another face product, I'm going in with the blush from my first look and using that as the shadows in the second look. I'm using the highlight shade on my inner corner and brow bone, and then I'm going in with that same flat shader to apply the mid-tone pink all over the moving part of my lid. On to liner, again, I'm using the same thick and thin eyeliner, but I'm making the wing a little bit more pronounced and dramatic. And once again, going in with my Retro Glam Mascara, but this time I am applying three coats because the formula with this is thin enough to where you can layer it without getting clumpy and it just makes your lashes look that much longer. Up next is foundation, and I'm still using the Stay Matte from Rimmel, but this time I'm just going to apply it in the center area of my face, really where my combination skin needs it most for that shine-free finish. But I can still get a somewhat light natural coverage. And then again, I'm following that up with the concealer and highlighter. And this time around, the bronzing and blushing routine is still the same, but I'm going into the eyeshadow quad that I used originally and using the two lightest shades with the same angled brush I used to apply my face products, and I'm dabbing that on the tops of my cheekbones and using those shades as highlighters. I'm also using them on the bridge of my nose as well as my cupid's bow to make my lips look a little bit fuller. 
Once again, I am finishing off this look with the All Day Seduction Lip Gloss to create somewhat of a more natural, springy look, but I also wanted to include a bright, bolder lip at the end, one of my favorites from Rimmel. This is a show-off lip lacquer in the shade Apocalypse, and it's a an ultra-bright pink. Just so you can see how this looks with the look as well, I think it's fantastic for spring. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create these two looks with kind of a third bonus. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!